All right, thank you for your patience. Uh, I do want to do this before we get started. As I ended with uh, recognizing Jake with the middle school, the All South Jersey Junior High Jazz Band. We also have another member who is in the high school this year that was also a member last year of the Junior High Jazz Band and will be auditioning for that as well. They take ninth graders. Cole Beckman. Two other, two other players in the band, uh, both All South Jersey Jazz and All State Jazz, Shane Shane. Shane Shack is what they're saying. And Eleanor Race again on the bass. All right, we're going to start with a Buster and Benny Moten composition entitled Boat Swing. Little known fact about this one, this was from 1932. But uh, this is not a trivia question for you, necessarily. But does anybody know where it was recorded? Camden, New Jersey. Yes. This was a uh, this was a hit in the early 1930s, and it was recorded in Camden, New Jersey. They had a great studio there that they recorded. So I hope you enjoy this. This is Buster Moat. Uh, Buster and Benny Moat and Moat and Swing. This could feature Sean on piano and Grace on trumpet. Herbie Hancock to fame. 
This is probably the greatest jazz musician ever. Oh, I see a hand. We're going to try to get her. You got it? No, he's a ranger, Mike Campbell. He actually lives down near Washington, D.C. He's, yeah, he's a... Anybody know? Anybody? We're not going to go jazz band members yet. Yes! Miles Davis. Miles Davis is correct. There you go. Jordan. Is that the Batman? It's nice. I love it. Stealing it for, uh, for your grandfather, I guess. <laughs> Jordan Beckman, past graduate up at Rutgers, New Jersey, uh, up at Rutgers University in New Jersey uh, as a music ed major, but more importantly, serving her country in the Army. Yes, okay, thank you. All right. This is Cantaloupe Island, and this is going to feature. This is going to feature. Oh, Grace. Grace again, Jacob on the tenor, Lucas on the drums, and special guest appearance, Ben Milas on the cowbell.
Grace Jacob Lucas. Charlotte McDowell. So Friday night, for those of you that didn't know, we went out to the Clayton High School Jazz Festival. Uh, the students performed amazingly well. They got a superior rating. They played so well. So proud of them. Uh, this is one of the pieces that they played. This is a really difficult arrangement of standard uh, entitled Alone Together. So again, this is going to feature Jacob Langley on the tenor sax and Eleanor on the bass, uh, Lucas on the drums again, and the trombone section in a really difficult soul lead with Eleanor on bass. That's his little song, so you'll have to check that out. This is Alone Together.
So, on, based off of this next composition, Shane uh, received one of the medalist awards for best soloist of the evening. So you're in for a treat. Uh, yeah, Shane. He has now been lovingly known as Shane Shack, evidently, because the person that read his name couldn't read his name, so thought it was Shack. So Shane Shack, at least that's what the students say. But this is a, a beautiful composition entitled Cerulean Blue that will feature our all-state trombonist Shane Shack.
understand why he made all state? Yeah. Some player. Yeah, one more round of applause for Kevin. I really should have put the trivia here because their faces are dead right now. The brass players, and they kind of need a little bit of a break. All right, I'll do the trivia now. Okay, so not this song, but the one after it is going to be Bye Bye Blackbird. Here's the trivia. In the lyrics, what do you need to pack up? No, maybe hearing it. What do you need to pack up? All your cares and woe. Absolutely right. Here I go, singing low. Yeah, there you go. That's wonderful. That's not this next song. It's going to be the one after this. This one is from the Macy book. This is Queen Bee. Uh, off of the album Macy Straight Ahead. Uh, Count Macy. We okay? Yeah, they, they have to put these bucket mutes in. Somebody hold up a bucket mute. Yeah, the bucket dudes, and they've got little clips. They clip on the bell, but sometimes they don't clip really firmly. So if they go to pick them up and it falls, it's not their fault. But the bucket dude is a, it's an amazing mute. It's like playing into a pillow. So it gives them much different sounds. So we want to play, or you play sound on your bucket. Yeah, so it's a little bit different sound. So Sammy Nesico, the arranger, arranged with Range with bucket mutes in the brass in the beginning. So this is Queen Bee. Uh, again, if you want to check out an album, not that anybody has any albums anymore, but if you want to go on Spotify, Basie Straight Ahead. Wonderful big band album. And this is right off of there. This is the exact arrangement that the band played. This is called Queen Bee.
Jim for the tenor, Sean on the piano. Keep us on the drums. Now all of these people are going to be uh, recognized at our spring concert. By the way, our spring concert, well, we're going to have two of them uh, for the concert bands. The Wind Ensemble concert is April 11th. 11. What day of the week is that? It's an 11th day of the week, uh, whatever that is. Um, and then the High School Wind Symphony and Symphonic Band, that concert is on May 1st. Uh, so all of these seniors are going to be recognized on one of those two nights, but I want to recognize the jazz band seniors. Would all the jazz band seniors please stand? <laughs> Stay standing. We have a very uh, senior heavy band. Adam and Noah in the front row, Dion, Ricky, Austin, Shane in the brass section. And I want everyone to take notice of this, especially middle school students, my whole rhythm section. Lucas, Eleanor, and Sean. Um, I usually say this, uh, I usually say it at the spring concert, but I will say it right now. Uh, I don't care what the media says. These seniors that are standing here, the world is in good hands. These are wonderful young people brilliant and wonderful musicians. So they're going to add beauty into the world and they're so incredibly smart. I feel so dumb I stand here. These, these are engineers and doctors and whatever they want to be. But most importantly, they're wonderful people that I've had the privilege of teaching. So one more round of applause for us. So now we're going to pack up all our cares and woes. Here I go, sitting low. Bye bye, Blackbird. Yes. Do we have soloists in this? I don't know. Sean. Sean. Sean's going to solo. Sean's our soloist in this one. Nobody else? Oh, just Sean. That's right. Just Sean. Sean's on the piano. Round of applause for Sean.
something completely different uh, than what you've heard all night. This is a composition by a great drummer, writer, educator up in New York, uh, Rich DeRosa, wonderful human being. And uh, he wrote this piece about morning funk. This is going to feature a few people as well on some solos. Get there. Get there. There we go. Uh, we have Adam Wax, Austin Shank. Grace Shockey, Owen Young, Elmer Race, and Lucas Heggie. Did I miss anybody? Good, okay. Owen oh, was like, please stop talking. <laughs> I agree. All right, here we go. This is morning fun.
By the way, they put all that music together in 13 rehearsals. Seven pieces, 13 rehearsals. That's one more round of applause for these guys. Really amazing. Uh, before we go, though, I would like to thank the administration that came out tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, we have a new uh, visual performing arts um, head, and that's uh, Ms. Lauren Deacon in the back. Thank you so much for coming out. Mr. Pateo standing back there. The amazingly supportive administration here which allows us to do what we do and I want to thank my colleagues Mr. Mariello and Mr. Wernus there were there's Mr. Mariello and Mr. Wernus right there oh, back there there he is right there yes helping out with all the day to day stuff and most importantly give yourself a round of applause thank you for such wonderful people out here Everybody have a great night, and I'll see you at the spring concerts.